Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Hey, uh, what's on my mind is that uh, structure has integrity. And uh, it is so interesting that we will find characters to play out certain structures. And uh, it's, it's very important to understand this, that, uh, that you, you will find uh, characters to play out structures until you let that structure go. And, and I do talk about this in the three day a little bit, hey, and I do talk about it a little bit in my book. Uh, where I was playing out a certain structure. But I want you to hold this as true, uh, as a working premise, and just have a look at it in your life. Uh, you, you, you continually are trying to resolve uh, uh, un unresolved events or unresolved relationships or unresolved trauma from your childhood, and you're continually trying to resolve them. And you're continually trying to resolve them by finding other characters to play out certain individuals. And it's, it's very interesting. So I was, I was talking with a really good friend of mine about someone that they're working with in this. In this. Uh, and, you know, we're having a conversation and it was like, well, it's actually not personal. The, the way that that structure has been created by that person, they've just put you, uh, they, they've put you in, in a certain structure. And what's interesting is if you look at the way that you create success and the way that you create failure, you actually see how you will continually put uh, put people in or, or organizations or, or others in certain structures and, and there will always be the same thing happening. And it's almost like we feel like we attract it. Does that make sense? It's like, it feels like we attract it. But the truth is, is that uh, we, we actually make decision after decision after decision after decision that then ends up uh, turning out to have that be be in that way. So, for example, this person I was talking uh, with, they they keep on uh, finding a relationship where where the other person cheats on them. Okay, and so they say, you know, the other person, this this person cheats on them, and they find it everywhere, whether it's in relationship or it's in business. This other person cheats on them, and and they keep saying, well, how how is it that I keep attracting that? But but when you actually reverse engineer. Uh, what was going on uh, every single time, every single time it starts off and it goes the exact same way, you know, the, ex the exact same way they, they saw and they knew things about their person and then they ignore them and they keep going. In fact, when they truly realize they picked that person, then they can see the whole structure play out. And it's amazing. Once you see it, everything will change. And so I want you to examine yourself a little bit and, and what's creating in your life. And if there's stuff that's repeating, hey, that's, that's repeating and repeating and repeating, uh, you got to realize it's not you. It's, a, it's an unconscious structure that you're trying to work out. Uh, does that make sense? It's an un unconscious uh, structure. I've got a business partner of mine. He might be on the, the call. It's not Scott, but it's, a, it's another one. And... Uh, and at the beginning of every single month, uh, same thing happens. Like literally, so much, like it's like the month, the beginning of the month hits, and it's like bang, and all of a sudden, uh, the tension's increased, and out, out we go to to go do something that's completely off track, and it's like clockwork. Same there, same structure, same structure every single. It's like clockwork, and and it's not personal, and so you know you can see other people how they're playing out those certain structures. And it's so interesting to me. So what I want you to, and it was actually not the topic for today. It was just on my mind because having this conversation, like literally right before I jumped on, uh, well, I had a call before it, but, uh, but just looking at it and going, okay, why is it that this keep happening? Why is it? And how do I enter into this structure that it ends up into this place? Does that make sense? Like, how do I keep getting in this structure? And how do I let, how do I let that structure go? You know, like, how do I just get into a new structure where, where it's not always going in the same pattern, the same pattern? And what, what my friend realized is that, uh, that each relationship start off with a lie. 
And it was like, wow. And the thing is, is each relationship started off with a lie, but the lie was actually her not asking and uh, getting all the details that they need to make sure that this is the right person. So what keeps happening is they will find a business relationship or they will find an intimate relationship and they go completely off the feeling. The, they never do any research. This is so weird. So I was like, so tell me how these all started. And every single one, I had a meeting, they said good things. And so I went with them. And then, yep. And then they let me down and they let me down and they, and there was no, there was no thought behind it. I was like, this is the simplest, easiest thing for you to break. You lie to yourself, but you've done any research. I was like, how many, uh, you know, how many other uh, business partners did you look at? Did you ever get clear on what you want? You know, did you, did you even go dating at all? Like even in their dating life, they would meet one person, they'd be in a relationship. Then, they'd, then that person would cheat, let them down. Then they'd start dating again. And it's the first person, away they go. They never allowed themselves to have any like patience or any waiting. And, and that's what caused it all. That's what caused it. It was the beginning. It was the origin. And it caused all. And so that in this pattern, and I've got, a, I've got another person I was talking to recently, and they have this really weird pattern where they just keep on finding people uh, to work with that, uh, that let them down. And then that person takes the blame. And I was like, where, where did that show up in childhood? She's like, oh, that, you know, that's exactly how I related to my mother. I would go to do something with her. And then she, you know, I'd always blame her. It'd be her fault she wouldn't allow me to have it. And so I just kept on finding people not allow me to have it. Anyway, it's on my mind and I, and I wanted to share it. It's not my, it's not my topic today, but uh, when, when I really do talk about, you know, success isn't um, personal and failure isn't personal, it's structural. You must understand how you keep entering the structure. Does that make sense? How you open the gate to that structure, not that it's you, you know, it's you doing it a certain action. And chaos theory shows us this, you know, there's some really great books on chaos theory and how uh, chaos turns to order. And it's, it's not this random uh, mixture that we're, we're told it is. It's a series of events that leads it to it. And so if you want a different outcome, you need to get into a different structure. And one of the things you can do is you can catch the entry points. Does that make sense? Like, Catch the, catch the entry point when you're entering into that structure again. And, and I've told you guys, you know, my structure about being the, you know, the guy that was coached and would always have that. And, and as soon as I collapsed it, I was able to have success. But man, it was scary. I found myself wanting to, you know, go back and, and, ha and have a business partner at, that was, a, a, you know, older male than me. I really wanted that, really wanted it, really wanted it. And then when I finally just let it go and went on my own, it was, it was scary. Like there were aspects of me going, oh, no, you, you don't know how to do this. You need this. You need this. And so um, it was big. It was big. So sometimes when we're looking at our creations and, uh, you know, it might be our identity or our beliefs and those sort of things. And, uh, and, and sometimes it might just be the structure. It might just be, be how you're creating it. And so I want you to know you the one that creates it. Make sense? You're the one that 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 enters uh, into it. Uh, Jax, I would I'd recommend our recommended reading list. And if you've got through all of that, then come back and I'll I'll, I'll get you on to the next one. Sound good? <laughs> all right. So uh, let's get into today. So welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, someone's asking about the recommended reading list. Uh, would, would a CEC team member point, point us in the, um, the right direction? I think it's, there's a, that it's in the, <laughs> it's true though, isn't it, Jax? Has someone got it? Could, um, Rochelle or someone that we know that you, you got it? Cool. I'm sure someone's heard me, so I'm sure someone's going to grab you guys a reading list. Oh, yeah. oh, Rochelle's on it. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. And uh, so grateful to have you guys here supporting. So um, here's, my, here's my question. Who's new? Do we have any new people here today? Uh, it's, uh, it's super, super, super exciting to have you here, and I'm grateful that you are. So if you're new, let us know. We'd like to welcome you. There's one thing you might need to do uh, to, the, to the, the way that you put in the chat. Uh, you just need to change it sometimes from panelists to everyone or panelists to all panelists and attendees. Um, if it just says panelists, it only goes to me and I'll miss it. There's, you know, 329 people of you here. So uh, welcome, uh, Jonah. Uh, Donna's new every day. Awesome. Welcome, Ben, Sharon, another Joe. Welcome, welcome. 
Uh, welcome back, Josie. Hey, Marcia, welcome. Uh, Dora, cool. Second call, Sally. All right, and then everyone else who's who's who, who's got a new version of themselves here today. <laughs> so welcome to you guys as well. Hey, you've got a really great crew here. Um, get yourself uh, involved. Get inside of Mighty. Ask lots of questions. Uh, and, and please do the introductory work inside of Masterclass, eh? Very important you get your lenses. And, and I'd also add to that is the three-day event we just did, was that two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. Uh, that that, was a, that a, was a really good event, hey? Who agrees? That was a really bloody good event. So if um, it's, in, it's in your Kajabi um, uh, online university, and so if you want to have a really good uh, weekend, uh, I would highly recommend uh, getting stuck into that event. It's about 15 hours in total, um, but nothing you can't uh, can't handle like a good Netflix binge watch over the weekend. It, it was a really good event, and uh, I highly I highly recommend if you're starting out in this journey. Uh, we do have a live one coming up in about another eight weeks, but um, but if you if you get back and watch that, it's a yeah, it was, it was a really good one, hey? Yeah. So today, what are we covering today? So we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to do the uh, the emotional alignment. I believe uh, Kim Castles is the demo inside of CERT from memory. Is that right, Kim? Did we do this one together? I can't remember. We did one We did one together. I've seen Kim on here already. So anyway, uh, it was this one. Hey, Kim. Yeah, so we're going to do, we're going to do that one. Now, uh, when, when you're creating... Uh, we talk a lot here about action. We talk a lot here about beliefs, identity, and consciousness. Um, yet there's there is some other things. Hey, so let me just uh, draw it up here on my magic board. Let me just make sure I'll move move this table up a bit. It is a good one. It is a good one. So there is uh, there's a few things when you're when you're creating. And you're wanting to move from you know this point and you're wanting to move to this point here the the bottom layer is uh environment the next one is um behavior or action the next one is capability uh the next one is beliefs the next one is identity and then the top one is consciousness Consciousness. Someone could. Someone. One of my coaches will type this in for you, um, so that it's all. It's all there. Okay. Cool. So. So environment is the is the first one, and it, and it moves itself up right up. This is conscious at the top. That top one there. It looks like I've got um one of my lights here. I don't know which one. One of my lights is in the way. But can you guys? Uh, everyone can. Um, everyone can read that. Eh? Environment, behavior, capability, beliefs identity, consciousness, would a, would a coach uh, type it in? So the, the top here can uh, be called consciousness, it can also be called ecology, which is the, that uh, every aspect of you is, is happy with the end result. So, you know, for me, uh, when, I was, when I was trying to create, I, I worked a lot on uh, this idea of actions and skills, okay? So, so I worked a lot in here. And for, I think probably, from about 2006 to 2016, uh, that was my main focus, was how do I take the right action and how do I have the, the right skills? I'll just move my, my table back down. Um, how do I have the right, uh, how do I take the right action or behavior and how do I have the right skills in order to create what I want? And so I got, I got really skilled. Hey, I got very, very, very skilled. Became so capability. In other words, for um, capability is skills. Another word for behavior is action. So I became very, very capable. And, and you know, let's talk about it in the area of uh, business. Hey, so I became very capable. I, you know, this is my 18th year in business, and uh, and so I spent a long time. Became very skilled in business. I was taking the right behavior. I was waking up early. I was, you know, taking correct action. I was doing that. Uh, but other things let me down. First thing that I didn't have is I didn't have the right environment. OK, so I wasn't surrounded by people who were achieving uh, the big results that I wanted to achieve. In fact, most of the people that I had around me were people from my past that, uh, you know, had jobs and didn't understand business. 
Does that make sense? That my environment, an environment includes the, the people around you, uh, where you live, where you hang out. So what's around you. It also, uh, environment, if you look at epigenetics, also covers your internal environment. So it's what's around your consciousness, what's around you. Environment shapes you, you know, uh, the people that you hang out with shape you. And so I, I got really focused on that. So the first thing I did was, uh, well, not the first thing, uh, I, I worked for a very long time on behavior and capability and became very capable and took the right behavior. And I got some good results. When I was living in the United States, I joined a, a, a networking group called uh, Genius Network. And I'll never forget the moment at the beginning of the, the session, they said, all right, everyone put up their hands who's making over a million dollars. And it was, uh, was $25,000 to attend this thing. So, you know, there, there was they're all business owners. So I put my hand up along with everyone else. So everyone had made more than a million. And I think there was 200 people in the room. And then the guy said, you know, keep your hand up if you've made more than 3 million. So I, I got to keep my hand up and a few people let it down. Then it was like 5 million. I had to put my hand down. And they kept going up 10 million, 15, 20, 30. And then the guy, the, the, the one that left his hand up at the end, I think he was, um, he, he still had his hand up when they said 300 million or more. And he's like, you know, um, got his hand up. So uh, that, that made a big difference. It made a big difference to be surrounded by people who were doing it. And that's something I'm going to ask you is when if you want to create your uh, end result, uh, do you have people around you that are also created that? So there's three types of people. You can have people that have created it, people that are creating it, and people who are not not creating it. Does that make sense? And so you can have some people that are around you that are on the journey with you now. In this tribe, you're going to have a lot of people that are around you that are creating it. You've got myself, Rochelle, Hannah, who have already created it. Does that make sense? If, if you're in the coaching uh, journey. So, so you might be pretty good with that. But, but what about around you? What about when you, who do you go out with coffee? Do you go out for coffee with people, uh, you know, or, or go to the gym or whatever you do? Are you surrounded by people who are uh, where you want to be? Or is everyone, and it's okay, they don't all have to be. Imagine if everyone had to be where you want to be. They can be on the same journey as you, and some will be um, not on this journey, but you've got to look at your environment uh, and then also what, what you're surrounding yourself with. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about behavior capability. So, so I did that, and that made a big shift. Hey, it made a big shift. It, it started to move. As soon as I had the capability behavior and then I was surrounded because I just talked about this uh, on the creator course, you know, environment as suggestion. If you're surrounded by other people who are uh, achieving what it is that you want to achieve and uh, and you're and that's there, then it becomes completely OK that you have it as well. You know, you, you see this in pretty much every single uh, you know, group is that everyone starts to dress the same. Everyone starts to think the same. And and the, the results that you have are. Uh, are in alignment a lot with uh, what, what others are going to think of you. And so if it's uh, unreasonable to be in the group and to be the only one who's not earning, let's say, $100,000, then you'll very quickly move there because you want to be part of the group, okay? So anyway, environment, behavior, capability, um, beliefs. And same, by the way, just, just quickly, same with um, health and fitness. One of the thing, best things you can do is get a ton of friends who love being healthy and fit and are going out hiking and biking, true, and dancing every night and, you know, going to the gym and eating healthy. And, you, you know, you go out for a meal with them and they all say, oh, cool, I'm gonna, we're going to go to this place. And because this place is very healthy and, you know, and they all say, you know, the, they won't have the, the bread because they're lowering their carbs or whatever. You're going to automatically do that as well. True. Isn't that, isn't that true? Like you're going to have that as well. And it's like, you're going to, instead of go out in, in, in your old peer group and they say, right, you know, let's go to Chili's or, you know, let's go to a Mexican place and have margaritas and, and heaps of carbs, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm talking about someone who has a real health goal. Uh, is It's going to be very different. So you're automatically going to fall into that. So the next thing, uh, obviously, was um, was beliefs. And so, you know, we did that and so I made some shifts. But if you don't believe that it's possible, if you don't believe that it's possible, if you're not in belief that it's actually able to be done. So beliefs at this level is beliefs about um, the world, beliefs about what's possible, beliefs about other people. OK, and so if you've got a, a belief that you hold and I was talking yesterday to uh, I work with a lady one on one and uh, and she said to me, well, Chris, um, the biggest problem I have in my company is I need to have the right staff. And I said, oh, cool. Well, do you actually believe that the right staff are out there? And she said, no, she goes, no, I don't. I don't believe they're out there. I was like, wow, well, that's why you're going to keep finding it. Hey, 
And so she had a you know, complete belief that it's not possible to find what she needs, right? And so if you have a belief that it's hard to lose weight or if you have a belief that you know, um, the world's against you or that it's difficult to make money or that you know, all men are liars or whatever, and these can be unconscious um, beliefs, your unconscious is going to find ways to make that true because uh, your unconscious can make any belief true. In fact, there's something called confirmation bias. You can pretty much make any belief true or find an answer true. Like, you know, some really smart people who 100% believe something completely opposite to you. And you're like, why do they believe that? That's so smart. Like, how could they believe that? That's, that's so weird. Look at all this proof that I've got. And the, and the truth is, is you can pretty much find proof to back up any claim. So anyway, um, beliefs are really weird. And the only belief that you should have is that um, what you focus on, you'll create. Uh, the next is identity. Okay, so if you're not it, if you're thinking that you're separate from your creation, you'll never have it. And that's why this, um, that's why this goes up. Because the higher you play it, um, the easier the shift, but the harder it is to shift. And so you got to be it, hey? And, and we, we know that, hey? You, you got to be it. If, if, you're, if you think that the, what you're creating is separate for you from you or that you're not it, um, then you'll never be allowed to have it because it's in opposition of who you are. And, and we, talk about, we talk about that a lot, right? So I don't have to cover that. And then the last one is consciousness or ecology. And, and this is that your actual, your, your consciousness, uh, which includes those, uh, those around you, um, see this and all its ramifications is something that you can um, you can easily have. Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious.